Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Saoirse and in today's video we're going to be discussing uh, Inner Seasons 101. So um, Inner Seasons is a concept coined by Red School, um, Shanae and Alexandra, um, the writers of um, Wild Power and also Wise Power which has come out um, late last year, so late 2023, um, which is all, all about menopause. Um, so they have coined these um, these 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 words <laughs> because i mean i'm on day 22 luteal phase and the brain fog is real folks i've got uh my laptop here so if i glance a little bit uh here <laughs> it's because i'm just trying to stay on track um but they have coined these these terms i think alexandra came up with them and it's basically so that we have this language that we that we can use when we are discussing the menstrual cycle which is so so helpful um i'm going to talk about the four inner seasons today but arguably there are more so um i know we're kind of putting stuff in a bit of a box we're taking this cyclical concept and we're sort of putting it in little boxes um and sort of trying to make it linear obviously it's not going to all fit you know fully in those boxes and that's okay um and as i say i think in some later videos i'll talk about um indian summer um and uh deep in autumn um and a few other a few other things but i think just for today to keep it simple <laughs> i'm just going to talk about the inner seasons and so um yeah red red school call, call uh, red school call this um the workhorse of your power process um it's the it's it's the map of the inner seasons um which holds four distinct phases that highlights four ways of being with yourself so the red school so i i studied um the menstrual leadership program with shana alexandra back in 2022 i keep thinking it was last year but it's 2024 now so <laughs> so i um i did the studying with them and it was incredible i got my certification and um they speak about and they speak about this in wild power as well they speak about um the four um the four sorry the four the three menstrual maps so the menstrual maps are um the two vias um the inner seasons and um the five chambers of menstruation which i always think of the chamber of secrets and i get the harry potter like theme tune theme tune in my i need to slow down a theme tune in my head i'm very very over excited today <laughs> to be here um so they speak about uh the three menstrual maps and the idea is that the three menstrual maps are a way to bring you back home to yourself bring you back home to source um and also there's just different ways of like holding the tension throughout the cycle so it's a beautiful way to really get to know yourself so much better and to kind of come home to yourself um and it, that's how that's how it makes me feel so um the inner season so normally when we're when we're going through i think in the book as well i think they speak about the two vias first but i'm going to go with the seasons first because i feel like that is more um i feel like that's more familiar territory to you if you're very new to this and you're just getting started with cycle 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 sinking and charting i tried to say charting and start starting sinking at the same time anyway um so <laughs> so um so uh, i'm just trying to keep it super simple and also if you're more like progressed in your journey if you've been doing this for a while hopefully there'll still be some nuggets in here that uh, are just some some helpful insights because we can always have beginner's mind right we can always be learning um so um yeah so i'm going to dive into the inner seasons now um inner seasons we have our um inner winter which is menstruation so we can think of that you can kind of remember by like imagining outside in nature when you know maybe there's like frozen lakes or frozen water um or puddles in england um maybe there is you know not a lot of leaves on the trees but they're actually they're kind of a little bit like when we're on our periods there's a lot of work going on in you know beneath the surface in the roots um so it might not look like much is happening but actually there's a lot of a lot of work happening under the surface a bit like you know a duck swimming in a swimming in a pond <laughs> that's a duck now folks um so yeah there's still lots happening um, and then we can skip 
to the next phase, which is um, pre-ovulatory phase, also known as follicular phase. I love the word follicular, 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 follicular. So follicular phase, um, and that is our inner spring. So I like to imagine it like I'm a little, I'm a little hatchling, and I've been in my little cocoon of like period, and I'm just like, just like hanging out and just really like nourishing myself and just being as chill as I can. <laughs> As someone with ADHD, I find that quite challenging, but just resting as much as I can, nourishing myself, and then I'm, I'm a little hatchling, so I'm just starting to like crack open my little eggshell, maybe I'm like peeping through, and then I'm like ready to pop out, so that's like, or you can imagine it like a little, a little green shoot coming out from a seed. <laughs> Can you tell I'm not a gardener? <laughs> like seed, is that what they're called? Um, so yeah, so you can imagine that's the inner spring phase. And then we have our um, inner summer phase, which is probably the most like celebrated phase in society. That's our ovulatory phase. It's kind of when we feel like we're like superhuman, we can do all of the things, we can look after everybody else, we can very much put other people's needs first, um, which of course is very highly praised in society. Um, and I disagree with that but there, there we go um so yeah that is about you know the positive side of that is being able to do those things but of course there are shadow sides to every every part of the cycle um and I personally have probably had I was gonna say the biggest struggle with this season I actually I don't think it is I think my biggest struggle's probably been with luteal phase which is the next one um but I think that inner summer is one that I still have to like keep an eye on every single cycle because if not I burn myself out and then I'm just completely <laughs> completely exhausted for the rest of my cycle so um the next phase of the cycle is luteal phase um and that is the inner autumn so the you know the leaves are starting to drop off the trees our energy is kind of waning a little bit um it's also like if we were tracking with the moon which I have a whole video on of how to sync with how to how to like cycle sync using the moon um, as your anchor if you don't have a period or a cycle for whatever reason um and so just like the moon phase is starting to wane the waning moon would be in autumn so is our energy <laughs> so is our energy levels um and and then we also you can also think of that as like um so waning moon in autumn and then waxing moon when we're starting to get that energy again is what would be like when we're going into our inner springtime um so yeah there's different ways that you can you can use the the moon as well to explore that but like i say have a look at that video um i'll try and link it either on the screen somewhere or in the comments below i'm still getting used to youtube <laughs> um so bear with me um and then um yeah so there's just four, so there's four four very distinct ways of being with yourself now there are things like as i say there are i think there are other kind of sneaky seasons in there there are also things like crossover days again i'm i'm not um i'm not like getting you know i'm not like invalidating those experiences i'm just keeping it simple for this for this video and we're doing just like one one step at a time um and so the menstrual cycle now what i'll try and do because i'm looking at a workshop presentation i created a, a while ago for um an online class that i was invited to teach which was really fun um and i'm just kind of looking at some of the the pictures and you know the info that i kind of use there so what i'll try and do at this point is to put in a screen recording <laughs> so that you can see what i'm talking about hopefully i think i've worked out how to screen record and i'm using imovie to edit some things so hopefully all going to plan i'll be able to do that <laughs> i say that because it's been a bit of a nightmare morning with airdrop but i won't i won't go into that luteal phase we just try and give ourselves some grace um so um yeah so we've got the menstrual cycle so we've got menstrual phase um in a winter follicular phase in a spring ovulatory phase in a summer luteal phase in an autumn and i feel like luteal phase gets the worst rap um but actually all of these phases not to like make it scary and horrible but like all of the like i say all of the phases do have their shadow sides um and once again it's just worth reminding you that if you don't current if you take if you're currently on um hormone a hormone a hormonal contraceptive i.e the pill if you have that the pill where you stop taking it for a week and you have your your period that isn't actually your period because the hormonal um hormonal birth control stops ovulation so you don't actually have a period you're just having like a, a synthetic of like 
uh, like it's just like synthetic hormones so it's not actually it's not actually your Parts period of the inner seasons so mm -hmm. um so if i speak through the red school approach um because i think it just kind of will make sense and then obviously you can you can create your own you know as you as you go as well i think that's really fun to do as you kind of check in with yourself um so um yeah so to so to give you a rough idea of these phases the days are um in like a classic 28 day cycle so for me personally i actually tend to have 25 day cycle um so that's why i'm on cycle day two right now i'm saying i'm like in deep in autumn um but that does shift a little bit and it shifts depending on like the wheel of the year um and those and those those seasonal shifts it also shifted a lot when i had um my injections for um i don't know if i can say it on here because i don't know if it will like do a weird you know or like hide my video or i won't hide my videos but i don't know if it will flag them so obviously that thing that happened in, like back in 2020 <laughs> i had some i had some shots for that and um that really messed up my cycle for quite a while as well so back to the main purposes of the video so the sacred tasks this is what red school call it the sacred tasks for each of the inner seasons so in a winter um approximately day 27 to, to day five so they do have like um in my head i always think of inner winter as being day one uh, um uh, of the menstrual cycle so the day of your first bleed and i probably have said that in other videos to be honest with you just to like again keep it simple but i do notice and maybe you'll notice too that um that your you kind of have and when we go into the the five chambers of menstruation you're maybe starting to have the 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 void the detach the separate feeling that you get um a bit earlier on before like before your bleed kicks in so actually earlier on today i kind of had a moment where i was like oh i'm in like the chamber of separation like i was like oh i'm just not like i'm like in my own little bubble and it's really really nice <laughs> but it is challenging when you have to like do stuff in the real world um or like show up at your day job um but anyway um the sacred task here is to surrender yourself um so in wild power um red school really talk a lot about resting um and i actually will read that book over and over again quite a lot there's a there's a few different books that i have maybe at some point i'll do a video on books that i've really found useful um for, for, for cycle syncing and doing this this practice this journey um but i find that like rereading those books is really helpful because it reminds me that it's okay for me to rest when I'm on my bleed um, because I feel like there's a lot of you know like the, that tampon advert where it's like you can just do anything and she's like doing this crazy ice skating on a period and I'm like power to you if you want to do that <laughs> but like and it's great that we have the choice but also why like I just don't I don't want to do that at all like I don't want to wedge some cotton wool at my hoo-ha and go and spin around on ice like I just absolutely don't want to I want to be in like a little cocoon with someone bringing me cacao and maybe a few like very light snacks and just I don't know having a nice bath and my boyfriend washes my hair like that would be that's perfect <laughs> that would be ideal I don't want to be doing loads of crazy stuff now obviously sometimes we have to do things that we don't necessarily want to do so i totally get that um but i just think it's yeah ra rest is radical so for me on this this phase i think the nickname i or the action i gave to it is to um dream so it's really to like just rest rest is radical like rest 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 some more and just dream like do some cute like pinterest boards i personally like to not spend too much time on the screens when i'm on my on my bleed so i'll try and avoid screens but you can do some pinterest boards if you're quite visual you can do some journaling i love i've spoken before about journaling with red pen which i just love um and you can just do maybe some like maybe there's some sort of art projects that you're doing like a, a classic good old-fashioned collage or painting or sometimes I just like to do like some gentle dancing um, and a bit of movement, um, not for very long because I tend to like, we'll have like a nap afterwards. Um, but just really like allowing yourself to dream or also just lying there and just having like a really nice daydream as well. Like that is just beautiful. Maybe you're just sipping some tea or some soup and just staring out the window. Um, yeah, so just the sacred task here is to surrender. So it's okay to rest it's safe to rest you have a big juicy permission slip from me if that's what you need to rest um yeah so in a winter sacred task is to rest uh, and surrender yourself um in a spring is approximately day six to day 11 
um, of your cycle. For me, I'd say it kind of kicks in a little bit like a crossover day around day four or five for me. Um, and then it kind of, yes, yeah, probably in fully fledged. I'd say like maybe day five, day six. Um, and the sacred task here is to cherish yourself, which I just love. Um, I actually have got like a video that I've got planned out. Um, that's like five reasons I cherish being in cycle. I'm really excited to share that. Um, and I just had the most amazing, profound experience when I did menstrual leadership program around my inner spring. Um, and it was really cool because I kind of felt like it was the season I was le least like connected to. And um, it was just so beautiful. And I had this like wonderful wonderful epiphany during like a meditation um journaling practice and really loud and it was like when i cherish my voice so does the world and i was like oh yeah and it, for me it was like having that right to be here the right to take up space and it was just really really liberating um and not being small so i think yeah cherish yourself is really beautiful um and it's just such a like it's just such a like a a nourishing like nurturing cute thing that you can do for yourself um, inner summer is approximately day 12 to day 19 for me it's, it's it's yeah varies varies a little bit but kind of around around that 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 time span if I get my words out and this is to celebrate yourself so um one way I really like to do this and I'll talk about this in a separate video is um writing a queen list um and this is not my idea this is Carly of Moon Forest Flow that's her Instagram handle um when I had menstrual mentoring with her years ago before I because kind of at the beginning of my journey um she spoke about writing a, a queen list during your um during your inner summer to like celebrate what you've done because then when luteal phase comes and that is the phase where inner critic tends to come in a lot and again we'll discuss that on a separate video then you've kind of got this like you've got this paper of like this is all the really great stuff i did this cycle like inner critic can't take that away from me so um yeah having that having that queen list um you know or a gratitude list is also really helpful um especially if your mind if your mind or mental health does take a toll on the next season um so just celebrate yourself you know and that can be different things like you might be like writing a list of really awesome stuff that you did maybe you kicked ass in a, a presentation at work um for me like i'll be writing like i actually filmed some uh, some videos like actually filmed some youtube videos and i'm really proud of myself and i batched batched you know recorded them so that i wasn't working my butt off you know at the wrong place in my cycle for a, for a deadline i've given to myself or it might be like I don't know, celebrating like gaining weight, celebrating losing weight, celebrating like looking really freaking cute in a dress. Um, it might be like, maybe you moved home, maybe you like stopped smoking, maybe you gave up a vice, maybe you like hit the gym and you felt really good. Like maybe you just celebrate yourself because you're here and you're living on earth and you're worth celebrating. Maybe there doesn't even need to be a reason. Oh, I know, right? Mind blown. Uh, okay and then in autumn um the is approximately cycle day 20 to 26 um for me i would say in a i think like luteal phase like t it does tend to be the longer part of your cycle so obviously we've put as rough as rough timing start cycle day 20 to 26 um our, my experience is more that it tends to be 10 to 14 days so it is like the the longest phase for most people again there are obviously we are different people and that's okay and like you might have like a longer like you might have longer in in other phases and that's co completely fine um and so yeah it depends i think especially if you're maybe going through and this is just from some books i've read um it might be if you're going through like ivf and things like that then maybe maybe that's where that would change i don't have experience with that um i feel like i read something about that in Maisie hill's book um period power so maybe maybe that's where i read that and it was just yeah different different cycle lengths or maybe it was a longer in a spring um but anyway for me luteal phase tends to be the longest phase um i do have pmdd so again there's a whole host of videos coming about pmdd and pme and pms in uh, april because it's pmdd awareness month um please do check out my instagram as well for that um saucer underscore ratigan underscore um again it's all in the you know my home page here or the link page or wherever it wherever it all lies in in the realm of youtube um because i do have some really great posts on that and i also have a really great um guide to that as well um that you can get so um yeah so uh, it can be really challenging like i think this is probably the one i've had the most challenging with especially because of having a um vicious inner critic and imposter syndrome um so the task here is to hold yourself um and then it says 
or more precisely, hold the tensions of the complexity of who you are. I think that's a direct quote from Wild Power. Um, so it's really like holding the tension. I think you, you, there's different, I think you hold the tension for different things throughout different phases of the cycle. I think like in a spring, you're holding the tension to like not race forward because you're like, you need to take some time to come out of the menstrual phase, you know? So there's different, there's different, um, th there's different ways of holding the tension, I, I think, throughout different parts of the cycle. Um, but yeah, really holding yourself. You are a complex, well-rounded being and, um, you know, there's waves of emotions, there's different states that you will find yourself in. Yes, you ran out of uh, space on her phone again for filming. Um, so, <laughs> so um, I just wanted to finish off by saying I hope this video gave you a solid uh, basis for understanding the inner seasons. Um, again, Wild Power is really an amazing book and I... Um, I haven't set up my Amazon storefront yet, but by the time this video comes out, I'm hoping I will have done. So I will put this in my Amazon storefront um, <clears throat> for you so that you can get your own copy. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's mostly it. So I'd love to hear about like what your sacred tasks for your um, each of your seasons are. I think for, um, yeah, I think for my inner, inner winter, I've got minus dream in my inner spring it's plan in my inner summer it's create and in my inner autumn it's edit I think that's kind of what mine are at, at the moment um but I like these sacred tasks as well and of course they are kind of just my spin on on the sacred tasks so um there's no right or wrong answers but I'd love to hear yours in the comments below so let me know and yeah I will see you next time um over here on free flow